British Columbia is located in a seismically active region and can experience earthquakes at any time. There are more than 3,000 earthquakes annually, many of which go unnoticed. Earthquakes of a higher magnitude are generally more damaging. You will feel a sudden jolt or hear a rumbling noise, followed by a side-to-side -side motion and much noise, then possibly a rolling motion. And due to building codes, it is very rare for a building to be completely destroyed. Multi-story buildings may, however, sway, and residential homes may shake rapidly. In an earthquake, drop, cover, and hold on. Take cover to protect your head and torso. Hold on to the object you are under so you remain covered. If you are not near a covering, crouch down next to an interior wall, away from windows, and cover your head and neck. After shaking stops, count to 60 before moving from your shelter and examining your surroundings for broken glass, fallen debris, and other hazards like fires, ruptured gas lines, and exposed electrical systems. Earthquakes can cause confusion and fear, as well as damage and disruptions to essential services. Be prepared for secondary hazards such as aftershocks, landslides, soil liquefaction, tsunami, localized flooding, and even fires. If you live in an area at risk of tsunami, the very next thing you should be doing after the shaking has stopped is move to the pre-identified high ground. People who are hurt will seek medical care, which can lead to overcrowding in the hospitals. Sites and health authorities will activate and coordinate response plans to provide care. Healthcare workers play a critical role during disasters. Get prepared by making an emergency plan and grab and go bag, participating in training and emergency exercises, having conversations with coworkers and leaders. In the workplace and in the home, fastening and anchoring large equipment, appliances, or furniture moving heavier objects to lower shelves, and installing restraining straps on water heaters or oxygen tanks. For more information about personal preparedness, visit preparedbc.ca.